Here we are. We have made it. 1,000 subscribers. And it's all thanks to you guys, honestly. Without you, I would have no one to entertain. I, I can't thank you enough for all your support. And we finally made it. This is a huge milestone for my YouTube career, which I started almost precisely a year ago. So it's March 2021 now, a year ago. And here we are, 1,000 subs. I can't thank you guys enough. And Nathan... You are lucky number 1,000, and we've already spoke, my friend. You're getting something very special in the mail, and thank you for being number 1,000. Let's continue this amazing journey that is YouTube, and let's continue unboxing toys. It's my favorite thing in the whole world to do. Moff Gideon is the subject this week. Who doesn't love a Star Wars baddie? And this guy is one of the ultimate Star Wars bad guys. Let's get into the light box, my friends. Unbox and review Moff Gideon. You have something I want. The big baddie of Mandalorian season one and two is, of course, Moff Gideon. We're going to take a look at him today, unbox him, I'll give you my opinion. This is a, a wave actually that's been uh, sitting on my shelf for a while. I've had it for uh, about a month and a half and just been waiting for the right opportunity. I was going to do all of them, but I decided to focus on Moff Gideon. Some others in the wave include the Armorer. She is so awesome, and hopefully we get to see her again. We got Grief Karga. This wave is very heavy on the uh, Mandalorian characters, which I'm okay with. And then, of course, we have uh, Quill, everyone's favorite Cop badass Nick Nolte. Not here, of course, but that's who plays him. And then for some strange reason, this figure, which, I don't know, guys. I don't want to get into a whole sequel trilogy thing here. Um, let's just say that the Rise of Skywalker and The Last Jedi have fallen. They, 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 were, uh, they were up there as far as Star Wars movies, and I defended them till the ends of the Earth and uh, some stuff came out with the actors, and um, I I've ranted about that it's too much, so I'm not going to get into it now. But this, honestly, is a real pointless scene in Rise of Skywalker, where she, for 2.5 seconds, sees what it would be like if she turned to the dark side, which I never once thought Rey was going to do that anyway. There was never any kind of hint at that or anything uh so jay why do you have this figure i don't know because i'm a weak man let's get to moff gideon you may think you have some idea what you are in possession of but you do not moff gideon is in that new black series style packaging which is now standard so i'm gonna stop saying it's new because it's not new anymore it is standard so on the side we have an incredible incredible piece of art here of Moff Gideon and I really like how they're doing this with most of their IPs them being of course Hasbro the original art on the side a lot of their boxes are really doing this and I just think it's really really sharp the character's name the color coding for each Star Wars episode the Mandalorian is this kind of brown kind of goldy color um, that side we have nothing and on the back we have a tiny tiny write-up Moff Gideon Imperial Moff Gideon is fiercely determined to capture a specific quarry. Clever and formidable, Gideon values power and knowledge. Straight into the point, he is figure number eight in this wave. Can't wait to get to him. He's got a tiny little blaster there. Uh, just the details I can already see are awesome in the face. And of course, this guy, the Shining Star, which is the Dark Saber. Let's get to opening him. If we look at the top, there are four pieces of tape. We can go in that way, but we're not going to. We're going to go on the bottom because there is only one. I'll take this oversized knife here. For no particular reason, I can't find my regular one. I'm going to flip it over. Two figures gently in the bottom here. I'm just going to pull it out. You'll hear a little snap. Good to go. Set that aside for now. There's the clamshell, which is also the outside of the box, which is really cool. Warning label, get out of here. Oh, there he is. Oh, man. 
I say it every time, but until you actually get the figure out and you can touch him and pose him and stuff, you really don't know what you're missing. This is not a knock against people who keep all their stuff in the package at all. Because for me, I, I gotta be honest, over the last year I was just going through opening absolutely everything I got. And now recently I've got into the Marvel Legends uh, retro vintage, whatever you want to call it, Spider-Man line. And that package art is just so beautiful, I can't, I can't uh, open them. Anyway, I'm ranting here. Let's get to Gideon. Let's get him out of the Carbonite. Moff Gideon comes with precisely three accessories. One being a separate cape. And it is plastic. It's kind of like a rubbery material. Which I'm glad because I think having this on him instead of cloth is just going to make the posing a lot better. I think it's going to sit a lot better on him. But it is uh, black with some red on the inside. Of course, uh, it's almost like a Count Dracula cape and that's cool. I'm glad it's a separate piece that clips on. That's a really good design decision. His little tiny blaster. This looks like kind of a snub nose blaster. I don't, I don't know what you call this. It's got a little scope on it, but this thing is teeny tiny. No paint applications on it, which is just fine, none needed. It is just pure black and uh, badass. Look at that guy. Tiny, tiny. And it looks like he's actually got a holster too, so he's gonna be able to carry that. But of course, the accessory that everyone wants is the dark saber. And this is great for the six inch scale. Um, it looks like it detaches at the handle here and just such a really, really awesome design the Darksaber has, really original. And we can see the blade, it's got that thick black stripe. And on the outsides, I don't know if you can tell, I'll try and get it in the light, but on the outside edges, we actually have kind of like a clear blue, which really just shines in the light. That's awesome. To give the illusion that it's glowing, the Darksaber is quite a bit different from a lightsaber, but very, very unique. This is what Moff Gideon pulls out at the end of season one of The Mandalorian that made us go, oh my God, for a whole year. And uh, I remember, like I said in the intro, I was just hoping that he wasn't a Sith Lord. Um, to our knowledge right now, he's not. He's just a badass and uh, he's a badass Moff and I'm perfectly okay with that. Let's take a look at Gideon up close. And once again, Hasbro hits it out of the park. With the face mapping technology, it looks exactly like Moff Gideon. Uh, the, the hair, just the uh, the details on the face. The sculpt is just gorgeous. Wow. Look at that. Kind of spooky, isn't it? How realistic it looks. It's really hard. You know, I really love the uh, 3.75 vintage collection. More for the packaging. Um, I, I, I do love the scale of 3.75 more. I've always loved it more than six inch but when you get something like this in your hand and just the insane detail that they do on these six inch figures it's really really tough his outfit is really cool it's got kind of like a Darth Vader kind of box here and he's got like a breastplate here armor he has shoulder armor as well and that goes around to the back we can see the slot where the cape clips in just a really really nicely designed Imperial outfit you can see that he's seen quite a few battles, but now he kind of just stands on the sideline and kind of directs everything. There's that holster, which you can actually put his little blaster in. Big fan of that. Love how the accessories can be carried so that blaster goes right in there like that. Uh, I don't see a spot for the dark saber on his belt anywhere. So hard to say. He's got the... Uh, flared pants that are tapered on the bottom and of course the imperial black boots they kind of look like kylo ren's a little bit really sweet to fasten the cape that's pretty easy it's just this clip on the back and you snap it right into this hole and it should go in well it should it should go get in there get in there get in okay well just give me a second oh now the gun fell out well, it appears on mine that this chunky part is just a bit too big for this hole. So I'm going to have to do some modifications here. So give me one second. Well, it actually doesn't stay on too well. I've jammed that in there. And as you can see, there's a huge gap here. Um, we'll see how that works with posing. But a uh, little bit of a modification. I had to shave down 
uh, the little clip that goes inside. Not a big deal, but uh, that's kind of annoying, actually. The Verdict. Moff Gideon is no doubt a fan favorite. He's just one of the coolest badasses in all of Star Wars. Initially, I was a lot more excited for the figure until I opened it up and there was the issue with the cape. It's not a huge deal. It's just a soft kind of little clip that goes into the back. But the fact that I had to shave it down with a knife is just a little bit annoying. So maybe in this instance, the cloth cape would have been better. I, I don't know if you guys can see, but again, there's a huge gap. I can't really move the figure too much because the cape will pop off. Again, I don't know if I just got unlucky and this is just my particular example or if it's a manufacturing error. They're all like that, who knows? Alternatively, if you don't want to do the Black Series Moff Gideon, you can do the Vintage Collection 3.75 inch, which overall I just think the presentation of this figure is a lot cooler and uh, even getting up close the likeness is still there it's just on a smaller scale I mean they've really hit it on this small scale as well so that's another option if you don't want to do the black series I can't thank you guys enough I just recently hit in March 2021 the thousand subscriber milestone and it means the world to me that you guys watch my videos and I love interacting with you guys and talking about action figures it's just it's just the best part of my week if you like what you see guys hit that subscribe button and let's keep this channel growing i really do appreciate it if you like the moff gideon figure hit that thumbs up and let's spread the word but for right now my friends the moff and i have to take off because i'm still looking for echo 3 in the archive line i can't seem to find luke until next time my friends take care